Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, May 11, and we were supposed to leave the house today, but hindi masyado maganda yung panahon at hindi siya mapakiusapan, so we were not able to go out and see the Renaissance Fair. Or we have been planning to see the Renaissance Fair for a month, actually, but yeah, hindi kami makapunta-punta since laging masama ang panahon pag weekends and I also started my first job here in the United States kaya naman wala kaming masyadong time. So, ngayon na may time kami, hindi naman maganda ang panahon. So, since nga nga ang inyong ati, uh, tambay kami ngayon sa bahay. So, I decided to make this video to show you guys kung anong kaganapan nung aming wedding day. So, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and let's get started. So, we got married here in the United States noong June 22, 2018. Uh, that was actually a civil wedding uh, and um, we had our garden wedding no September 1, 2018. So, bakit kaya ganun? Uh, if you guys remember, I got here April 26, 2018. And since I was a K-1 visa holder, uh, I was only allowed to stay here for 90 days with a K-1 visa. So, I have to get married within that 90 days upon arrival here in the United States. And kung hindi, I have to go back to the Philippines. prepare for the garden wedding. So, yeah, for the civil wedding, hindi naman siya talaga bonggang bonga. It was just um, our family, uh, yung mom and dad ni Ken and um, his sister. So, yun lang, kami-kami lang yung nasa civil wedding. Uh, and then, dun sa garden wedding kami nagkaroon ng um, chance na makasama pa yung ibang uh, family members ni Ken. And I was also able to have my great aunt and great uh, uncle from uh, California. So, yun. Uh, unang inasalikaso namin was the venue. So, saan kami kinasal? Uh, sa Dallas Arboretum. So, there was one day na naglaan kami talaga ng time para maghanap ng venue. So, we visited couple parks and gardens kung saan pwedeng iganap yung or ganapin yung iganap, ganapin yung wedding. And we ended up going to Dallas Arboretum. So, sa loob ng Dallas Arboretum, maraming different uh, spots or areas na pwedeng uh, gawing wedding venue. And meron dong isa talaga na sobrang ganda pero sobrang mahal. Doon din sa Dallas Arboretum and then um, it's pretty because it's surrounded by uh, flowers and plants. Tapos parang may wall din siya na parang maze ang itsura. So it's really really pretty as well and affordable. So...
wedding dress. Can you guess where I got my wedding dress? I got it from a prom dress, uh, prom dress store. So, we all know na yung wedding dress ay talagang may kamahalan. So, uh, we decided to go to a prom dress store kasi our original plan was to uh, get a dress na favorite color ko which is aquamarine. Pero when we were there and we were like I was checking for different dresses, nakita ko tong white dress with um, gold um, accent. So I said, parang na, na, na love at first sight ako. And here, uh, the groom is not supposed to see the bride on her wedding dress. Kaya medyo ang hirap kasi kaming dalawa lang na kanya magkasama nang bumili kami ng dress. But yeah, kung ikaw ay um nag you're working on your K1 visa and you're planning on having uh, a garden wedding or a church wedding or something like that, uh and you would want to wear a gown talaga, I suggest na you get it while you're in the Philippines kasi unang-una mas mura sa Philippines. You know what? Um, I had some alterations dun sa dress na nabili ko and it cost us $25 para lang ayusin yung sleeves. So, like, $25 is $25. So, yeah. Kung sa Philippines, 100 pesos lang, eh, bongga na, ba? Kaya, yun. Kung may kakilala kang nagtatahin ng wedding dresses, why not? Uh, at least you will also get the uh, kind of design na gusto mo. Yon. Nandito na ako, ha? Although, I um, collected ideas sa, uh, when I was still in the Philippines, sa Pinterest, pero um, nung nandito kami, nung nandito na kami, saka pa lang talaga na isa ka to parang lahat-lahat. So, we got the souvenirs as well. Uh, ang ginawa naming souvenir was yung uh, maliit na stainless bucket with a little plant in it. So, we put spinach. Uh, actually, tinanim namin yun. And, kung yun yung gusto mo maging wedding souvenir, try to do it ahead of time. So, give uh, them like two weeks para makapag-grow talaga. Medyo na ngarag ako sa, pag, sa souvenir kasi ang nangyari, hindi agad tumubo. I was expecting them to like tutubo na agad mga 3 days kasi usually ganon pero hindi siya nangyari so ang nang, ang ginawa ko I had to germinate uh, the seeds pa sa damp na tissue paper for couple days tapos i-transfer ko pa sila so talagang hassle sobrang hassle kaya yon kung ganun yung plano niyo gawin you can do that, but give yourself some time para makapag, at least medyo lumaki-laki yung mga halaman bago yung araw ng inyong wedding. So, yung food sa um, wedding was all Filipino food. Uh, gusto sana namin yung binalot kasi nang, nung binisita ko ni Ken sa Philippines for the first time, we tried that and he really liked he really, he really liked it. Uh, kaya lang hindi kaya nung restaurant. Sabi namin, okay, let's just uh, go somewhere else. And we found this kainan sa Laguna, dito din sa Texas. Uh, and uh, they gave us a very, very good deal. So we had chicken adobo, beef steak, or bistec kung tawagin sa Pilipinas, lumpia. We also had afritada and rice. So I also cooked pancit for the wedding. Then we had fruits and uh, we had um, lemonade 
um, tea and water, yeah, and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> was at Kenny's uh, mom's house and um, yeah we or me and my mother-in-law and sister-in-law um, work on the decorations and stuff so ako yung mga ako yung gumawa ng mga uh, white and green na backdrop tsaka pink na parang tissue paper ang ginamit ko. Nakita ko lang din sa Pinterest. And then, my mom-in-law bought that um, gold backdrop na may mga pink flowers. So, she really uh, put a lot of effort para sa wedding na yun. For this video, I hope na nakapagbigay ako ng konting idea sa inyo. For those who are planning their wedding, sana nakatulong sa inyo. And uh, please hit thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!